Thank you, everyone. I, I, we're dealing with a slightly grumpy hangout today. I'm grumpy. I don't know why. We're going to have a fun day. Do you want to tell them what we're doing? We're going to Northfield. <laughs> what was that face? <laughs> so happy, like... <laughs> That's a really disturbing face that you can I make. know. I can and make a lot of really good faces. Has really good faces. That's true. I, I don't even like scratch the surface of what my facial expressions can do in our videos. No, they're quite disturbing. It'd be too bad, too someday, weird. Someday we'll get her to do it on camera. Yeah. And then Maybe. We'll, we'll lose half of our followers. Exactly. Yeah, we probably won't ever show my facial expressions, but we're going to Northfield. We're going back to our original hometown. I don't know. It's not really a hometown, like where our first apartment was, where we first lived together. Yeah, where we lived together. Yeah, for the first year and a bit. So we a year and a half, I guess. We're doing it just for fun. Yep. We're going to go, it's a nice, kind of nice day. It's been raining like every day, which I guess makes sense in April, but it's it's not raining. Warm-ish. It's like 55 degrees. It's not that warm. And April showers bring... Shane's birthday in May. Okay. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. It's time to talk about our lives. Oh, that person's going to think I'm filming them. We just dropped Chloe off at my parents' house, at her Nana and Papa's house. For uh, a little staycation. Yeah. That's not what that is. No, just to watch her for the afternoon so she's not alone. It's going to be a good day for her. Let's make a little mental itinerary of our day in Northfield. Okay. Number one, food. Oh, boy. I'm so hungry. We're going to have to argue about, like, which what we're getting to eat. We're going to have to argue? Yeah, because I feel like you're going to have a different idea than I'm going to have. But what do you want? Well, the place I wanted to go to closed already this morning. Then that's off the list. So I'm just, like, generally upset about wherever we end up going. Oh, so it's not really arguing. It's just whatever we get, you're not. I'm not going to be happy, no. We can go to Hogan Brothers, I guess. You know what they have. I know, your beer cheese soup. Beer cheese soup. All right, we should go, because I'm pretty sure Chloe's going to be, like, watching us out the window and hoping we come back in. Okay, so our only itinerary item is food, which shouldn't surprise you. Visiting our old apartment, all that stuff. Grocery store. Visiting our old grocery store. Okay. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. We loved Econo. What's it called now? Family, Family Fair. Family Fair. You can go there. At least it sounds like it's going to be a really, really interesting video. <laughs> All you gotta do is set me free. The historic post office, located in Northfield, Minnesota, is one of the oldest treasures of this country. They were the last post office to adopt physical mail. Prior to that, it was all word of mouth. Nope, we just arrived. This is going to be a fun day. You didn't have to carry me. That's where we bought your mom a present. Oh yeah, two years ago. Yep. Wow. Oh, I miss Northfield. Oh. It's so cute. I know. Should we put our masks on? Yeah. yeah. That's so clever and rustic. <laughs> Oh, I guess I have my hand on my joystick for this video. Ready to drive away? <laughs> All right, we're now going to thank our sponsor of this video, Thrive Market. I love Thrive Market. I am obsessed with Thrive Market. You've been using it for 
what? Months. Months, yeah. Since the summer. Yeah. And I have been doing, I partnered with them on my Instagram stories. Right. So if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen this. But now, you know, we're here on YouTube. I'm obsessed with Thrive Market. I'm really excited about this. And I love it because it means that every month, a beautiful box of snacks mm -hmm. and wonderful food arrive at our doorstep. Hannah always puts in things yep. that like are a surprise for me. Mm -hmm. so it's like Christmas morning uh -huh. once a month. I love it. Shane also, on one of our trips to a grocery store, found a um, expensive, very fancy tea that he has decided is the best tea that he needs. Um, and it's, you know, it's expensive. So I'm like, uh, like, why can't you just get like a different like tea that isn't tea. like organic and like fancy? And he's like, no, I need this one. And so I looked on Thrive Market specifically for this tea. And it is way cheaper. <laughs> so I have been buying Shane's tea. It arrives in a box on our front door so he can have his very fancy tea without like spending a ton of money. I feel like I'm being persecuted for having a refined palate. And I don't think that that's something that I should be attacked for. But you don't have a refined palate, so I'm not sure why you just don't get different tea. Apparently I do. So anyway, we should probably get to the point. Thrive Market is an online, membership-based market with the mission of making healthy living affordable and accessible to everyone. Let's show everyone what we got in our last box. They carry thousands of food, home, and beauty products which you can easily order from their app or website. You get guaranteed savings with member-only prices, and members save an average of $32 per order. You can easily shop by more than 100 diet options, like gluten-free or vegan, and there are more than 50 Black and minority-owned brands that you can support. Orders $49 or more ship free and are delivered with carbon neutral shipping from their zero waste warehouses. Through Thrive Gives, their one for one membership matching program, every paid membership sponsors a free one for a low income family. You can choose between a 12 month membership and a one month membership. We went with the 12 month because it comes down to $5 a month. So use the link in our description below to get 25% off your first order plus a free gift. Okay. I love Thrive Market. I know. <laughs> I got my beard cheese soup. Now you have to feed me through the mask. Maybe if I put my head back, we can like drizzle it through the fabric. So for the past, like maybe three weeks, Shane's butt has really been hurting when he's sitting in his chair. They really wanted to know that. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you want to know over our lunch. We were like, what should we talk about? This is what came to mind. Um, and I think like a year and a half ago, maybe, honestly, it could have been like three years ago. I have zero sense of time. It was during, like, we had our, our YouTube channel. So it was so. like less than three years ago, yeah. two, a year and a half ago, maybe. Shane's seat cushion popped. Some of you might remember that. And it took like two months for the like insurance to approve sending a replacement. And so he had like horrible, horrible, like hip and butt pain that entire time. Like I just had to be out of my chair. Yeah. I was like laying in bed all day. Because he was just sitting on, uh, like, like metal, metal, basically. It was terrible. <laughs> and uh, we think that maybe his seat has popped again based on what he is now feeling. Definitely. And, like, me, me <laughs> touching the seat, it feels like there's not really anything there besides just the base. Uh, it's but normally, like, gel. It's a gel, yeah. yeah. So if the, if the plastic pops and the gel disperses, like, it's easy to tell. We need to pull the seat out, unzip it, and look and see if there's gel everywhere or if it's still in its little bag. Um, but we're pretty sure it's popped because you don't feel it. And because it was such... And Shane's whining. But because it was such a terrible, terrible experience last time and took so long to resolve, we are just sort of pretending that that isn't happening. Yeah. Uh, and we just, like... We just have, we're, I guess we're waiting until it becomes a horrible emergency and then it's going to be even worse to deal with. It's getting there. It's moving in that direction. Yeah. We really need to, we need to do something. But you have an appointment, uh, you know, with your, two weeks. in two weeks with like a physical or occupational therapist to talk about getting a new wheelchair. And at that appointment, we're like, we'll ask her to put in a request for a new seat cushion. So I just was in it two weeks. Mm -hmm. Might want to give her a heads up. She might be able to just like pop that in now. You know? Yeah, I probably should. You probably should. Instead of just having Hannah yeah. like rearrange me every five minutes, I'm like, pull my butt left, pull my uh -huh. butt right. Put your right foot up on like the back of the footrest, pull your foot off the footrest, and none of it works. And so. the whole day I'm just like, ah, ah, ah. Oh well. All right, we're done with our lunch. Now we're gonna go look at our first apartment, the house where all of our YouTube dreams 
came to fruition. <laughs> and lots of other stuff. And yeah, and our yeah, relationship. In our personal life. <laughs> but for you watching, you might know it as where we were living when we began our YouTube channel. Yeah. We're going to make sure that it's still standing, mm -hmm. that we are still being honored as the previous, previous tenants. tenants. <laughs> well, we're One not, of several. We're not going to go inside because someone else lives there now. We're not going to yet. I wish we could. I still have a key. <laughs> <laughs> Armory Square is like a really cool music and like food and there's a brewery next door. Just a really cool venue. Cool place to hang out. We've never been there. We were never cool enough to go there, but somewhere that we have been. Family Fair. Family Fair, formerly known as Econo. We used to do all of our grocery shopping here. We lived like two blocks away, so we would walk on over. It is where uh, one time we did our weekly shopping. We were checking out and the cashier person uh, put all of our stuff through and saw what we were buying and asked us if we were throwing a party because we had a bunch of chips and ice cream. I think I purchased an ice cream cake that time and we said yes, even though we weren't. It was just our weekly shopping. Your mask, your face is just too big. My face is too long. Why the long face? <laughs> Did you think we were joking when we said we would stop by our old grocery store? We have to see what they are on sale. Raspberries. A lot of memories here. Okay, I'll admit this is a little big, but that is exactly what I want. We're like eight blocks in that car. <laughs> This is where I bought so many milk duds. So many. A new flavor of poppable? A new flavor. Thank you, Northfield. So, I just had to. This is why, I mean, we bought this and chips. This is why people ask us if we're throwing a party when we just leave the store on any regular day. I'm so excited though. We have to pick Chloe up later, so maybe we can share it with your parents. Something like that, yeah. Sure, maybe. You're like, nah. God, Northfield, could you be any cuter? Ah, uh, good memories from the Northfield Insurance Agency. When Hannah would have class for long periods of time, she would drop me off there and hey, Hi. Hello. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> thank Bye. you. Bye. Oh, people knew our channel. That's so nice. They ruined my joke, but <laughs> uh, anyway, when Hannah was busy for a while, she would drop me off there. And it wasn't like technically my babysitter, but they all <laughs> kind of understood that they were my babysitter. Oh, I'm gonna pee my pants. Nope. <laughs> Those people that just drove by were so nice. I wonder what they thought we were doing standing on the corner of the street <laughs> carrying this cake <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. Our apartment. There it is. Aww. That was our apartment. We had the main floor, and then there was someone upstairs and someone downstairs. Wow, it looks so different. It looks really different. We had nothing outside, so it just there's so much stuff. So cute. Aww. I miss it. I know. Lay me on the front steps. <laughs> wow. I wonder how it looks inside. That's where we used to park. Yep. I believe it gets stuck in the ice yeah. all the time. Yeah, it was horrible. <laughs> That was so efficient. We didn't even stop for one second. We didn't want to be creepy. Uh, so we got all of our looks in while we just sort of went by. But uh, now we're going to go to the car because we have to drop off the cake. Uh, My hand is so cold. It's really chilly outside. And then bookstores. And then we're going to go to content 
or it's content. We still don't know. Shane did a book reading there and we didn't ask. They probably said it and we probably were like, oh, it's this, but now we forgot again. Isn't the name of the town, or not the name of the slogan? Yeah. It? It's cows, colleges, and contentment. So that might be content. 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 That makes, that makes more sense. But it could be content because it's a bookstore. Yeah, it is. It's probably content. Anyway, we're going to go there. Shane did a book reading there. That was really the only time we went. But uh, we, didn't look around that. we didn't look around because obviously we were busy. So maybe this time we'll actually buy a book. Just heading to a birthday party. Don't mind us. <laughs> this is for Get Me Not Flowers, where I got Hannah roses for her final swim meet. Because I'm a really good boyfriend. That's nice. And was I a fiance? You were no, a boyfriend. I was a boyfriend. Wow. Now you're a husband. Now I'm a husband. Ah, Northfield Liquor Store. <laughs> Want to know how many times I went there before Shane moved to Northfield? <laughs> Zero. Want to know how many times I went there after Shane moved? <laughs> About once a week. <laughs> My biggest regret today was not bringing a fork. Ready? Yep. You immersion from the car. <laughs> Be honest. Did you have any cake while you were in there? <laughs> you were in there for a while. <laughs> no. Beautiful goats. Oh my god. That's literally you in a nutshell. I found Judy. Shane has no understanding of moderation. Says you that picked up the cake. Alright, we just got way too many books at Content. And now, I guess we'll just go back to the car. I wish it was nicer out. It's still just a little bit too chilly. Yeah, yeah. In this little plaza here, in the summertime, they have a popcorn, like, stand, kind stand of. that is run by the nursing home. The senior center. Senior center. Yeah. Nearby. Very cute. Everything about Northfield. Super cute. So cute. Well, that was a fun little day. That was so fun. We should do that more often, especially when it's nicer out and we're not, like, freezing. Yeah, we were shivering the whole time. Yeah. But we're going to head home now. Mm -hmm. We'll spare you from visiting our old gas station. We'll just do that <laughs> on our own personal time. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed our trip down memory lane. Mm -hmm. what? I swear if someone just moves in the post office, it's not open right now. Okay. I swear it moved. It must be haunted. Or what? people are in there. No. Employees. That can't be it. <laughs> you want to come around? Not to extend the video even longer, but this cake is everything I ever dreamed. The whipped, the whipped topping is so light and fluffy. The angel food cake is amazing. The berries are delicious. It's my ideal cake. I just had it right. It was very good. Mm -hmm. I'm very pleased. Dinner. Sweet.